So how are we doing guys? Welcome, it's Kraken here and we're back with our how to series day number 32. Now what a day we had yesterday. I've literally only been back at the base for about two in-game hours. So if you haven't checked that out, we went through the Shamway factory. If you haven't seen that yet, make sure you go and check it out. So what have I been doing? Like I say, not a lot because we've only been here for a little bit. So I've just got my forges quickly burning up. I've just started making this, or finished making this, bandolier mod. Because this will help us um, reload 30% faster. So that is something we definitely want to be putting on our armour. Uh, speaking of armour, we actually found the plating. Now, that's level 5, so that one's got the spare one. So we're going to keep that on. So we can make these plates now, which give us a plus armor rating of two. I'm going to have a quick look. At have we got anything else with any spare slots in? No, we really need to sort our armor out. I want to make military armor everywhere. Okay, put those away. In our clothes chest over here, I've got loads of stuff here that I want to sell. I want to get get rid of. Um, what does it take to make that armor? Uh, has it come onto plating? Here we go. It would have helped if I had spelt um, armor correctly. Ah, that's good. So we don't need the armor plate. So we can build these very easily. Duct tape, mechanical parts, sewing kits. So, okay. So it's a good job we've been collecting all these sewing kits. We've got 28 of those. So we can replace all of our armor with these ones that are plus one. To one to a plus two so that will help us out um especially with our armor that is out here i'm pretty sure i've got the best armor in most of these anyway doesn't look like we seem to have any at the moment but that's right because i was swapping them over so in fact actually let's modify that take that one out go back to our character there we go so we can swap them over for Horde Knight. There we go. So we just make sure we have the best of the best for Horde Knight. Uh, the base is coming on well here. Um, pretty sure I showed you this maybe the episode before last, but I think we're all on course for Horde Knight here. So here we go, into Dyersville. Now, this little place here is amazing for resources there is a bear down there though so be careful but at the beginning of the game just get yourself some resources it's a really good building to go through oh we got a little deer over there i heard somebody oh there you are that soon sorted you out didn't it right let's quick check this car as we are here Oh, some more lockpicks. We went through so many lockpicks. We had 40. Oh, crazy. So this is a fetch. So, nice easy one. Not need the resources. Destroy workbench. I am looking for the auger schematic. We're keeping all of those needle and threads. Oh, you little bugger. Oh, here we go. Did anybody get the um, everyone hates the tourist quote in the last one? I was going to put the answer um, when I did the editing of the video. was a song by Pulp. Common people. Da -da. Right, here we go. A little home brewery here. Hey, big mama. Show me to some hidden loot? No.
won't go back over the hole. Where are we, Nancy? Go, Nancy's running. We're just going to try and run through this as um as fast as possible. Oh, I actually hit the picture. Oh, we've got loads of runners today. Hey, Edgar. Look your arm straight off. Right, here we go. Duffel bag. What have we got? Ooh. Now, we were talking about the fist only series. Apparently, they're quite easy to make with the other wraps. So, they'll probably be our first port of call. We did the fist only challenge. Need to get ourselves a higher level crossbow and a higher level pistol. Get my bolt back. Oops. Oh. Is projectile vomiting. I didn't bring my AK with us. Trusted AK. I didn't think we needed it just for. This little quest here, but we're gonna have to be careful though, because we are getting some of the biggest and baddest zombies. Not getting too many irradiated yet though. I will show you guys my game stage. I did show it in the last one, but I did a time lapse over the top. So 96. You might not have seen it. Bit of tuna. Right, we went through here, didn't we? Yep, so we've got to go back upstairs now. Uh, why, why, why did you hit yourself downstairs? If you kept on doing that, you wouldn't be so fat. There we go, in the head. Right, so we've got a light here. Go on luggage. Uh, where are we going? Over here. Where the light's showing. Just the little spiders. Where are you? Oh, we've got another runner. Here you go. Go. Ring around on the rosies. What are you looking at, Ben? There we go. And there's our satchel. By the looks of it, we've got to go upstairs. But let's go and sort out this spider. Where are you? Take your time to get through there. Get the sports bag out. Got our cowboy hat. What are you doing? Bag. More knuckle wraps. Maybe it's a sign, people. Oh, hello. I don't want the brightest idea I've ever had. Oh my god, how do you change directions? Oh, you're still going. Oh, bloody hell, what's going on here? Are we were a wandering horde or something coming through. Are 
either that or that was all the final zombies from upstairs. Got to pay attention, people. These POIs are no joke. Get ourselves upstairs. Check out our suitcase. Ah, right. So that's what we were meant to do. We were meant to... Oh, hello. Nancy. What are you doing? So that was the idea. We knocked through where that spider was, but the idea was that we came up here, came through this hole, put the nerd pole up because there's a bed in the way, and get attacked by all them muppets in there. And here's final loot time. I still hear a few people about. Get rid of the cobwebs. We don't like the spiders. Okay, and not so bad. Right, let me quickly check out my inventory. Right, put a couple of those into the doorway. There we go. Right, let's check out the bookcase. Okay, another schematic we sell that we've already read. Two weapons I don't actually have with me. Okay, some sham sandwiches. Oh, this is unlocked. That's very nice. Oh, tell you what, I think this is a sign, guys. I know we can. For some reason, put that in there. Okay, we're going to scrap those. I'm not going to use the knuckles in this one because we haven't put any points into the ruler. I'll let them carry on beating on outside for a second. Beautiful, only two lot picks at a time. Haha. <laughs> uh, this def this is definitely a sign. We're gonna have to do it, people, I think. Right, what's going on out here? And all day long trying to get there, you were nearly there. I've just come and ruined your day. 25 bones, that's not bad. Not bad at all. Right. So, guys, here we are back at the trader. Now, I wanted to... We were talking about... Or I showed you the um, leather duster. That's why I wanted to keep it from the last, last episode. Leather duster. Heat resistance of 19. Which is strange as it's a coat. Uh, compared to the poncho... Heat resist to 14. We're actually better off wearing the leather duster than the poncho. So if we quickly modify this, we can take out the cargo pocket. We can uh, we can actually sell it. If we go back to the leather duster, modify that. But there we go. So if you find yourself a leather duster. You're better off wearing that if you're going to go to the desert. Now, I don't know. I know, like, obviously we've spoken about armor ratings change. What do you seek, friend? Hey, Bob. Um, change. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Do these change, depending on the clothes as well? Or are they fixed? Because I don't know. Anyway, you did let's it. talk to you. Great job, traveler. So he's going to give us... Well, we don't want an Iron Spear. We've got plenty of those. Urban Combat Volume 2. Increase your barter ability speed to make yourself look cool like a tranche. Sexual Tyrannosaurus. Learn how to craft cigars. Well, we, we've already got a cigar, but we'll take the book. Um, so... Ah, oh, he's giving us the dupes. That's right. Okay, let's just quickly check the inventory right we are going to sell you now uh, we're going to sell you we're going to sell you those get rid of all of these books that we've already read the armor i've done that up use the repair kit now uh, we need to sell you all of that and we'll sell you that right, let's just pick up this book quickly right urban combat so we can read that Oh, I had no idea. 
let's let's have a little look. Uh, urban combat, urban combat. Here we go. Seven out of seven. Silencers have no damage penalty. Oh, beautiful! Because we've actually got a silencer mod here. So we need a better pistol. And really, a level 6 AK or, you know, really an AK. And we'll start putting the silencers on. Because the silencer normally, uh, it doesn't tell me here, it does bring the power down a little bit. But now, it's not going to do that. I do not believe it. I even put a marker here. Make sure this didn't happen. <sighs> Let me get out of here. So there they are, our goalposts that we still haven't upgraded. I never have a hammer on me, but now we know where to take the turning to see Trader Jen. Here she is, down here. What a nightmare, falling into that um, canyon once again. Right. Now... Take, take all the big bucks. Trader Jen, what have you got for me? If you're uh, feeling under the weather, I've got just what the doctor ordered. Mm -hmm. Well, that mm -hmm. didn't take long. Nice work. Good stuff. Right, what have we got here? 25 grenades. We already have the better grenades. Come on, Jen, this is terrible. Right, 863. Right, well, we'll take the steel shovel. We're going to scrap that for the steel parts. So we can make our own. Can we make steel tools yet? Let's just double check, shall we? Steel. Uh, shovel. No, we still don't have the steel tool schematic. So we're going to take that and we're going to scrap that. Even though it's worth a bit, we're doing pretty well for ye old jukies. Right, so there we go. I've taken every quest and then removed them. So she now says she has no quests. So if we now go into DM mode, talk to her, admin options, reset your quests. Okay, we'll turn DM mode back off. Let's talk to her. Oh, and she still says you don't have any. Let's try that once more. Admin options, reset your quests. Still no jobs. There's two tier 5 quests that we just cannot seem to get. So here we go guys, we've got a clear here in the burn biome. I've just started one of those quests as well. Itsy Bitsy Spider was around here somewhere. Um, we've got one down here now as well, but... Um, I'd want to get start getting some of these. We've got so many little pointers of little quests that we can start. So I'm going to start... Look, we've got loads of them up here. Start getting these all cleared because you can start them, run away, and then when you complete the quest, you'll get it next time you go into the traders. So let's, set, let's get this started. Get this done. A few repair kits. Good stuff. We'll probably jump to the trader afterwards.
have to go on a wrenching session again for a POI shortly. Yes. Oh, I nearly got worried then. Okay. Untouched. All right. Scrap, scrap, and we'll take all of you. We've got a bookcase here as well. There we go. Repair kit and an iron shovel. Well, we'll be scrapping the iron shovel straight away. Oh, we've got another Wasteland Treasures book. I think we're doing quite well on those. Adds chance to harvest acid from cars and medical equipment. Well, we've got more acid than you could ever hope for. But we will read it anyway and we'll be selling you. Right, to the trader. So this isn't the trader that we need to go to to hand that quest in. That was actually back in the desert and I'm not going back down there. So there's the experience and the dukes for killing those spider zombies. Um, right, we need to actually take a job off you. Hospital. Okay, I'm going to take the hospital. Right, do you have anything useful for Sarah? Sell you that. Look at this money here. 76,000 dukes. Okay, recipe for herbal antibiotics. Right, ranger's guide. Craft flaming arrows and crossbow bolts. Well, I'm going to buy it. It's not the flaming ones I'm after. We've got so many antibiotics, it's not even funny. So we're not going to buy that. There we go. Finally done it. We've bought the truck. It does mean that we're going to have to stick. Don't let the door hit you on your way out. No, I've just spent over 45,000 dukes for you. It does mean that we're going to have to stick to the roads because they're terrible off-road, even it's even though it's a 4 by 4 But there we go. There we go. In fact, let's christen it right now. Can't do it in the trader's area. That's right. Oh, no, 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 we need to pick you up. I'm not going to leave you behind. The main reason I bought this is look at that for storage. So we've now got all of this storage so we can change our outfit back out. Get some gas inside you. There we go. Oh, only 13%. Uh -huh. Let's get off to the final trader. My god, that thing is so slow. It's not even funny. I thought we'd come back to the house because we have no fuel in there whatsoever. And it is ridiculously slow. So we'll quickly get some fuel. I'm going to sort out my inventory. I am going to leave this one here. We'll go up to the trader in the cold tomorrow. And we're going to have to build ourselves a garage now, I think, because we've got a little, little collection of vehicles going on. So I'm going to make myself a gar garage, finish off this so we're 100% sorted, so we can just carry on looting and doing quests. So that's where I'm going to leave you. As always, big thumbs up on the video if you've enjoyed it. Um, as always, any comments down below. I know a lot of you are going to say it was a waste of money buying the 4x4, but it is mainly for the inventory space. Um, so when we go and do those big tier 5 POIs, we can literally just place the truck outside and use it basically as a chest. What I am going to do, though, is let the loot in the world... If, if I'm going to have a look. If I can't get the cracker book... As a quest, 
I'm going to set it so the loot respawns in a couple of days. I don't know what the lowest I put it to. Maybe three days, something like that. So the loot will respawn in there. And the zombies will have already respawned because it's been over five days. And then we will go and do it because it's unfair that we're not getting it as a quest. And we'll go and do the, uh, the apartment blocks as well. But that's where I'm going to leave it. Until I see you next time, guys. Take care. See you later. Yeah.